My mom then made me become a debutante. She had been one, so she wanted me to become one. Now, do you guys know what a debutante is? Was defined as an upper class young woman making her first appearance in fashionable society. What describes me better than that? <laughs> I spent the entire summer after my senior year of high school having to learn how to become a lady. At the time, I was working at the recreation department as a maintenance worker. <laughs> I was lining softball fields and picking up trash in parks, you know, like a lady. <laughs> then I would leave <laughs> my job all sweaty and gross and I had to go to etiquette classes where they taught me how to use forks or how to use a napkin. I know you're all just assuming you pick up a napkin and wipe your face. No, you're all savages. <laughs> you have to daintily grab your napkin and then you just dab the corners of your mouth. I just spent my summer just dabbing the corners of my mouth like this and just envisioning the rest of my life as a handmaid. <laughs> <laughs> I had to then learn how to talk like a lady. Apparently, you cannot just go up to potential suitors to go, what's up, Mark? <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> I had to dress like a lady because at the end of this was a debutante ball where all of us had to wear a giant white wedding gown. <laughs> Yes, I had to wear a giant white wedding gown while my brother in a tuxedo walked me down the aisle and then I had to curtsy to him. It looked and felt like I was marrying my brother, which is just a little too on the nose for North Carolina. Oh, but I did it. I became a debutante for my mom and then I was presented to society in what they call a coming out party. <laughs> it just happened to be the wrong coming out party. It would be quite a few years before I realized that I was gay, which is bonkers because I have had this haircut since I was five years old. <laughs> Yay, I didn't. <laughs>